All right, let's talk about the position constraint this time. Um, for that, what we want to do, first of all, uh, rotating this, the pedal should follow and those should stay flat, the little rubber pieces, because your foot is supposed to be on there, so they need to be flat. So what we need, first of all, is we need to start linking. So let's link the whole system together. So we start with the pedal, go to this little shaft, go from the little shaft to the big one, and then to the main part. And we do the same on the other end. Go to the small, oops, small red one down there. And go from the red to that one, and from this one to that one. So now if we rotate this one, you can see the whole system works apart from the pedals itself. They are not flat where they should be. They're not horizontally aligned. They are following exactly the rotation of this whole thing. So what we need to do is we need a position constraint for these. Uh, first of all, we need to unlink them because we're not going to use the linking for that. But we're going to use the animation constraint, uh, position constraint. That's the one we're going to use. And let me select this one so I can show you animation constraint position constraint and position constraint it to this little red thing here you go what you can see happening is the constraint is applied and of course the um, pivot point of this object and the pivot point of this object are now fully aligned so that's why it made this jump but inside the settings which are these you have a keep initial offset so press that one and the original position will be preserved so let's do the same on the other one. So animation constraint, position constraint to the little red thing. Same thing, it jumps out of plate, keep initial offset, and that's it. So now if I rotate it, here you go, rotate, you will see that the pedals are now staying flat. So they are now in the position where your foot is normally kind of doing the work for you when you're riding a bicycle. So that's it. For the position constraint, there are not many settings. You can have multiple targets. We're now using just one target, which is the shaft, this little red thing down here. Um, but you can have multiple ones, which define how it is influenced. But, and this one, keep initial offset. So that's basically it. It's all uh, not complicated, but useful again, if you want to do stuff like this. Cheers.